the latest major update for Unreal Engine 5 has finally been released, that being 5.2, and it is game changing, especially for environment artists. This is because of the most notable updates in 5.2, and that being two words, materials and procedural. Unreal Engine 5.2 introduces a new material framework called Substrate. Substrate, codename Opal, gives users more control over the look and feel of objects used in real-time applications. In their example, showcased at the State of Unreal 2023, they use an open material that contains multiple layers to have more realistic lighting interactions. The base layer models the iridescence, refraction and reflection that you can observe in real-world Opal, and on top of that is another layer representing the polished surface and how light is absorbed as it travels through that clear layer of varying depths. The new substrate material framework allows artists to create detailed materials with different shading models like never before. And it's also worth mentioning that in a game, these highly detailed materials will have the same performance as normal materials before them. Now let's talk about the second keyword I mentioned at the start of the video, procedural. Unreal Engine 5.2 introduces a brand new suite of experimental procedural content generation tools. These tools allow artists to give their creative input but make their lives easier on larger projects. A designer can take these tools to quickly and easily create beautiful looking environments that blend in with the surroundings. The tools will interact with the surrounding environment and can be modified so that it isn't just a prefab you place down, it is fully controllable procedural generation. Using a mix of both handcrafted and procedural environments can lead to amazing looking large spaces for the player to explore. These procedural tools can also be used on a larger scale to implement trees, cliffs, rocks, fog, birds and more to fill out an entire map. The example Unreal Engine created was a 4x4km map with only 200 by 200 meters of it being handcrafted, so you can really see how this is going to save artists a ton of time. Alongside these major updates, 5.2 also released some smaller improvements, for example multiple improvements to virtual production workflows through new shot creation and scene control tools. For instance, you can now shoot with multiple cameras, giving filmmakers more creative power. As with all Unreal Engine updates, we can see the 5.2 roadmap. On here we can see the ambitious plans for the future of 5.2. For example, you can see path tracing, lumen and nanite and substrate all on here, as well as many different things, for example shadows, so some of these things weren't mentioned in their tech demo. You can also see some character and animation stuff, for example physics, control rigs, ML deformer, there's some more audio stuff, more platform, more geometry tools, cinematic and virtual productions, there is a ton of stuff on here that is going to be constantly updated throughout 5.2 as well, so you can really see how dedicated the Unreal Engine team is to constantly improving their engine. So there'll be a link to this roadmap in the description down below if you want to explore more of these, but let's have a look at Lumen, as Lumen can be quite laggy for some people right now, so what are some of the improvements they're going to be making? Well they're going to be improving the GI and occlusion on characters for thin geometry, so you can see up in this GIF here some of the differences that are going to be made, and you can see 5.2 looks a lot more realistic. High quality reflections on translucency now support material roughness, rather than being restricted to mirror only. And again you can go through all of these, so you can also go into path tracing, so the path tracer in 5.2 closes several gaps in feature parity with the rasterizer and offers several new capabilities similar to those available in offline rendering pipelines. And if you want some more information on Substrate, that is all on here as well. But that's all for this video on Unreal Engine 5.2. As we've seen, the new material framework Substrate and the suite of experimental procedural content generation tools are game changers for environment artists. With these updates, artists can create highly detailed materials and beautiful environments that blend in with the surroundings more easily than ever before. The smaller improvements to virtual production workflows also offer more creative power to filmmakers, and I personally can't wait to see the amazing creations that will be made with these new tools. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about Unreal Engine 5.2, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos like this and tutorials on how to use these amazing features.